Okay, I'm Jeff Powers. I'm going to show you how to create particle emitter and um, how to actually uh, move around in the attributes and how it works. I'm going to go into, I'm holding on the spacebar, go into particles, and we're going to create an emitter. Go into the option box. You can either um, create a name, like Sparks. And we want Omni, you have the choice, directional or volume. We're going to do Omni. And we're going to create. We're going to go ahead and go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences. Go into Settings. We want to click on, make sure it's 24 frames a second. And we want to scroll down to Time Slider and type in the amount of frames we want. Let's say 200. And we want to basically play every frame, playback speed to be play every frame, and max is uh, 24 frames per second. Basically, what this means is that this will, this is uh, set up and optimized for um, simulation, and then we can actually uh, see it play back at 20 frames, uh, 24 frames a second. All right, go ahead and click on save. When you play your animation, you notice that there are particles coming out. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into Window um, Outliner. You probably want to have this open when you're messing around with your scene and dynamics. We have a particle that is um, basically what's coming out, and the Sparks one is the emitter. Okay, so what we want to do is I'm going to just pull this over here a little bit. Alright, uh, first thing um, you probably want to do is you want to probably remember that under Sparks or the emitter, and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to double click on it. So I'm going to call it Sparks underscore e emitter. Hit enter. That way it always tells me that um, that's the emitter and the particle itself. I can give uh, basically the attributes of how it looks. The emitter is how much, how many particles are coming out, and you can actually uh, uh, keyframe that. Okay, so let's go into the sparks and take a look at that. So select the emitter and do a control A, and this opens up the actual attributes. So we can change the emitter type right now. We can change the amount of particles that are coming out. And let's go ahead and do, oh, let's say a thousand. And we have the speed right here. And we have randomized. So let's keep the speed at one. Let's do speed random at 0.5 so that they're not all coming out at once. And that's a good start. All right, so now we're going to work with uh, particle. All right, this basically, we can under particle shape, we can tell it what it looks like. So let's go ahead and scroll down, and we see particle render type. We have points, multi point, multi streak, numeric points, spheres. We're going to use a streak, and then we're going to click on render type. And when we scroll down here, we want to add a color to it. So let's click on color. And we're going to click on add per particle attribute. Click add attribute. Next to RGBPP. Right click over. And click on create ramp. It creates a ramp. We have to right click over this. And then move over to edit ramp. And these are the colors that you can uh, work with now for that particular um, object. All right, so it may look a little different than this, but basically what we want to do is we want to whatever color you want, you click on these dots. Okay, so if we watch the animation, if we play it, Let's 
see particles coming out now, which are kind of cool. Alright, so, and so whenever we want to change the color of, um, of our particle, we can right click over it and go to edit ramp and change any color we want to. So we just click on that, and if we want to make it, let's say, white to start off with, and then as it goes through, we want it to turn, I want, I want to just delete that. We want it to from go from white to blue. Then we can do that, we can move that up and around. We can add another one by just clicking anywhere in here. And you can change that color if you want to. So you, you can pretty much do, you can do a lot of cool things here. You also have different types of ramps you can mess around with. Alright, so um, right now we're just going to go ahead and uh, animate this. And so now we have particles. Um, you can also, uh, let's go ahead and get out of there and select them again. And we have um, line width, so that's how the thickness of the spark itself. We have the direction uh, that the sparks are facing, so you can see that the tail is there. If we, if we kind of move that, we can see the direction changes. Okay, so we're going to go in here, tail fade. We want, we want a tail. We want the tail to be fade, and we got the tail size. Which is kind of cool. Okay. So I'm going to do a one on that. There we go. So it looks like it's spitting them out. And um, we have lifespan here. How long the object will last so right now. It's, it's set at 1, which means it's 30 seconds before it dies off. So this is what it looks like. And we can change that uh, to, uh, we could do it forever if we wanted to. It just goes on forever. So it really depends on your scene. I usually like to go to a constant or random range. So if I do random range, I can tell, not only can I tell it how long I want it to last, let's say four, but I can also do the life, I can randomize that so they die off um, independent from each other at different times so it looks more natural. So I'm going to do a point 0.5 on that. Okay, so now it's time to animate this guy.